Okay, this is step three. We've talked about uh, on our introduction about bamboo and bamboo rods, and then we've done our comb selection. And one thing I forgot to tell you about uh, the bamboo is that it's getting pretty pricey these days. It comes from China, and uh, I don't know if I mentioned there's a thousand different types of bamboo, but this bamboo is what they use in construction. And in the high rises, they lash it together for the scaffolding, and it's super strong. And uh, of course, they're not worried about what it looks like for cosmetic value, so any twisty old you know, piece will do. But the, but the, the buyers that go over there to, to buy it for the, for the bamboo market, like D David Serafin at Angler's uh, Bamboo, he goes over and selects every piece. And he selects it for straightness, he selects it. This is a leaf node right here. He wants to get as few of those as possible. You can see there's a bit of a, of a split in this one down here. We we'll just have to work around that. We put our check split, but it's still a little split. Sometimes you can get about 10 of those up there, which you don't want, because that's hard when you're splitting the bamboo, which is a, a step that, we've, that we're going to get onto. But right now, we're going to flame this. Now, the reason that we flame this is two reasons that we flame it. First, we're tempering it. In the past, some bamboo builders only flamed, they didn't use an oven. And there's bamboo builders who do not flame, but only use the oven. So one, and then there's people like me, I do both. I flame it, and then just to be on the same uh, safe side, I put it into the oven. What I want to do is temper it. I want to shrink these there's longitudinal tubes that run up and down this. You can't see them microscopic, but to get them closer together makes it stronger. Now, if you stick it in water, it is going to swell, but when it comes back, those tubes are going to be in the same spot. So if you don't heat temper it, I think, and a lot of other people think too, that you're going to get a wimpier rod and you're going to get a rod that's going to get more sets in it. So if you want to make it steely, we've got to temper it. The trick is, though, is that we don't want to damage the bamboo. The power fibers are all, if you look at the end here, the dark part, they're all in the first hundred thousandths of an inch of the bamboo. So they're here, just under this cambium layer, this skin is about five thousandths of an inch thick, and they're right below that. So we, with this heat, with this tiger torch, we don't want to damage those fibers because that's what gives us the strength in the rod. So we've got to be careful. If we blacken it too much, it's like anything else, we turn it into charcoal. We, it turns into dust and it becomes, becomes brittle and eventually turns into dust. So what we want to do is something in between. So we want to attain, I think, a sort of a nice sort of honey color, a nice sort of uh, golden brown color that's going to temper it, but yet not lose the strength of the bamboo. So here we go. That means we don't want to get our torch to really too, too hot either. We want to get it hot, but not too hot. You don't want to be here all day. So everything in life is a compromise, huh? Oh, it's gonna, oh there it goes. So this is the tip of the, uh, of the rod. I'll tell you one thing when you're heat treating, the wall, thickness of a tip, it's easier to see on this end, that's at a note, is different than say the butt. You can really have a look at that, like there, you can really see the difference in the diameter. That means it's going to take a lot more heat to attain the color we want than this one. So what we're trying to do is get them all, get the rod all the same color if we make the bamboo visually all the same color, the tips are gonna turn out darker because they've absorbed more heat. So that means we gotta, when we do the tip, we're gonna to try to go a tone less than the butt and a half a tone less than the mid. So, <laughs> so because it keeps getting thinner up the rod. Which I always do first, let's start with the butt. Now this is being a spay rod, this bottom, 18 inches or so, it's not going to show at all. 
So if you're going to goof up, this is where to uh, goof up. This is the part you're going to see, so you don't want to goof up down there. So you want to find your color. You want to go along the edge first. And then rotate the rod, the comb. We don't have to get the final color right away, but we're going to start the process. So I'm going to try to get the rest of the comb sort of this color, okay, in between each nose. You start at the split. That's the hardest part to get dark. That's the color we've I've, I've achieved so far. Do I want it darker? Yeah, I think I'd like it a little darker. So I find that I can get that by looking at it this way. burn it. No, you don't want to burn it. You want to blacken it. That's getting pretty dark there. I want to stay away from there. As I get closer to, to the final end, I might want to turn down my flame a little bit. I don't quite need all the heat. It slows down the process. I keep turning it end for end. Will I get the color I want? Now, as I'm doing this, you can see the steam coming out of the end of the home. That's the water coming out of the, of, the, uh, of the end. I was talking about those little tubes that run the length of the rod. That's the steam coming out. You're, you're pushing the water out and tempering. So the color I'm looking for is sort of this brownish color, not yet black, but I'm getting rid of the gold. I'm changing the yellow to brown. So that's what I'm looking for on this rod. But I don't want to overdo it. So now, I'm going to do the next section. Do the mid. Like I say with this guy, I want to do him a little bit lighter than that one.
I'm a, that's pretty good. That's just a little bit lighter than that guy. So we got to be the most careful with our tip section. It's the thinnest, easy to burn. Turn the temperature of the torch down a little bit when I get close to where I want to be so I don't burn it. Because it's hotter now and more susceptible to burning. So I'm just about where I want to be for a tip. I think that's good that's sort of like a little just a touch lighter than this one because like I say this is going to be affected by the heat more than this because this is thicker